Hello everyone, today we repair an iPhone 13 Pro Max. This phone won't turn on. There is no current input for charging. Next, let's test the air tightness of this mobile phone. Put it into the machine to test the air tightness. Pressure needs to reach minus 20. After reaching the point, the pressure needs to be maintained for 20 seconds. This phone is airtight. Next we are going to remove the bottom screws. Put the phone into the heated display removal fixture. Evenly heat around the frame of this phone. After the temperature is reached, heating needs to continue for 2 minutes. Heating completed, let's put down the suckers. Adjust to appropriate distance. Slowly lift the screen. The knob on this one has a torque. The screen is already on. We take off our phones. Wear an electrostatic bracelet. Ready to start opening the screen. Very clean inside. No traces of demolition or repairs. This scratch should have been caused during assembly. Next we protect the face component. Unscrew the protection cover. Let's recharge the battery. Then try again. Still won't boot. Charging still no response. Next we install another battery. Turn it on and test it. We changed a battery. Can now boot. Try charging. Charging still no response. Now I can tell it's not a battery problem. It's probably a leakage caused by a problem with the motherboard. Then drain the battery of the original machine. Then there is no way to charge the phone. Now let's try another charging port. Test whether the charging port is the cause. Now we have installed a new charging port, but still not charging. Now we can rule out reasons other than the battery and charging port. Let's remove the battery and charging port. We are ready to remove the motherboard. Pry open the screen cable. Let's remove the screws of the protective cover again. Remove the screen. Next we remove the motherboard. Pry open all the cables on the motherboard. Unscrew the screws fixing the motherboard. Peel off the foam and the stickers on the hard drive. Also take off the stickers on the back. Ok let's charge the machine and test it. Test whether the motherboard is leaking electricity. It's the motherboard leaking electricity. Through this drawing, we found out that it might be the reason for charging RC. Because this charging RC is inside the board layer, so we have to do the motherboard separately. Ok done. Let's clean the solder joints on the motherboard first. I'll have to put it back together again after a while. Use low temperature tin with soldering iron. Then we use solder wick to process it again. Both sides have to be dealt with. Both sides of the motherboard must be processed. Treat this side the same way. Already processed. Next we remove the charging RC. Then replace it with a charging RC. Let's test it again. The motherboard no longer leaks electricity. Can be turned on. But when we tested it, it still didn't charge. Let's check again. Your is found to be damaged. Next we remove this your. Replace a your. Let's measure it again. It will be normal after removing the your. Now let's change to a your. There is another resistor here. When we measured it, we found that it was also damaged. Change them together. A small resistor. Now let's put the motherboard on this test rack. Test all functions.
Next we start charging. Charging is normal. The phone turns on normally. Can support fast charging. Next we install tin on the motherboard. Finish. Now let's put it on the heating table. To fit. Pour in a little flux. Fix the position of the motherboard. After the temperature reaches, as long as this motherboard has a springy feel, it's okay. The motherboard has been attached. Let's test the startup again. Boot normally. Next let's deal with it. The sticker on this motherboard? Clean it up. We put on brand new stickers. Next put all the foam back on. Replace with new foam. And these stickers. Good motherboard has been processed. Next let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue around the case. Clean up done. This is what it looks like after we clean it up. We are ready to start replacing the motherboard. Start installing the motherboard. Buckle up all the cables. Wipe it. Then start tightening the motherboard fixing screws. Tighten with a torque screwdriver. We apply a brand new original waterproof glue. Carry out the first pressure holding process of waterproof glue first. Place in display adhesive press and hold for 30 seconds. Pressure holding completed. Let's clean up the remaining waterproof glue on the screen. Clean up completed. Next we peel off the second layer of protective film of waterproof glue. Ready to start installation screen. Fasten the screen cable. Clean up. Start to replace the protective cover. Also first tighten the screws to the fixed position. Then we use a torque screwdriver. Okay, all screwed up. We peel off the last protective film of waterproof glue. Clean it up again. Ready to snap on the screen. Let's check again. After confirming that there is no problem, we close the screen. Then clear the screen. Then perform the second pressure holding process of waterproof glue. Pressure holding completed. Tighten the bottom screw. Well, now let's test the air tightness of this phone again. Test it after we complete the repair. Is it possible to restore the original waterproof and dustproof performance of the mobile phone? Start vacuuming. After the pressure is reached, the pressure needs to be maintained for 20 seconds. OK recovery. Let's take a look at charging again. Charging is normal. Boot normally. It also supports fast charging. 